Well, hello everyone. How you guys doing today? I hope you're doing pretty good on this chilly winter afternoon. It's pretty cold here in hillbilly country. It's deceptively chilly. It looks warm, but yeah, it's about 35 degrees. Got a little bit of a wind blowing. You can see through the trees. You can see the trees moving. It's pretty chilly. It's going to get a lot worse. <laughs> uh, we're expecting some snow tonight. So I thought I would take you guys out tent camping in the snow. That sounds fun, right? <laughs> tent camping in the snow, that sounds fun, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I mean, to me it sounds like a lot of fun, but I, I would imagine... There's probably a couple of you scratching your head right about now going, what'd he say? <laughs> anyway, uh, I've camped here before. This is, uh, this is actually my grandparents' old homestead. And uh, I've been working on it the last few years, you know, here and there. You know how it is. Um, they passed away in the 70s, late 70s. And mom inherited it, paid taxes on it. That's all she did. And now we own it, Heather and I. And I've been working on it, you know, trying to fix me up, a, you know, just do something with it. So I'm working on a, a primitive campsite up here. I've shown y'all that. And another spot up here and a camping spot right here as well where the old house used to sit. On a hillside, yes, on that hillside. There used to be a house there. That whole hillside was clear at one point. But anyway. Uh, like I said, we are expecting some snow and it's going to get cold and right there is where I'm going to be living uh, throughout the remainder of this day and through the snow, you know, we're going to be hanging out here and tent camping and playing in the snow a little bit and just having a good old time, you know, should be. Should be a pretty good little video. Should be fairly interesting, at least. If nothing else, it should be interesting. Yeah, will Will Leo freeze to death, or will he not? We shall see, shan't we? <laughs> now, I've actually, a tip to be honest, I, I've camped right up there with those rope, those long rope. Camped on the other side of that a couple times with no heat whatsoever in the winter time. Of course, that was a couple years ago. We got diesel heaters now. <laughs> we don't do that no more. Seems like fun, you know. You, you look back on it fondly and all that, but yeah, it's pretty cold. Tent camping with no heat of any kind, you know. You bring a little, yeah, you know, you can bring a little buddy heater, you know, but you can't really, you know, use it at night. Even in a best case scenario, you'll get, you know, on low three or four hours. It's going to run out in the middle of the night. Uh, you know, the little wood stoves, you have to feed those about every two hours. So, about the only thing that's going to give you consistently good heat is a diesel heater. You know, so I've got one right there. This is one that uh, we just did a review on from Briero, a company called Briero. Sent that to us to try it out. And, yeah, I love it. Works great. Remote control and everything. But I brought my big tent, and I'm going to set it up right there and put my bed in it full kitchen you know whole nine yards heating system uh i brought my tv got a big screen tv yep we're going to be watching movies in the snow a little bit later <laughs> but uh should be should be a lot of fun you know should be should be a good little trip but i am kind of running a little bit late to be honest it's probably 132 something like that and you know how it is. You got other stuff you got to do. You can't always just run off and, you know, go play. Which I guess technically I am working. Technically I'm making a camping channel, you know, or a camping video. So I guess technically speaking I am working. We'll, we'll call it that. We'll go with that. Yes, I'm working. <laughs> and we'll just, yeah, we'll go with that. I mean, it's work, but, you know, it's a lot of work, obviously. But it's a lot of fun, too. It's, you know, a little bit of both. Mix work and pleasure, I suppose. But, anyhow, I've got this spot. I cleared this out um, a couple weeks ago. 
and I came back over here and did some work up here, some digging. I'm trying to build me a primitive camp spot, you know, out of just junk, you know, something you don't care if it gets stolen or burned down or whatever, you know, you, you don't really care that much because it didn't cost you nothing. You know, all the work part is in getting the ground ready for it. You know, the hill cutting into it and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, <laughs> all right, I need to quit goofing off, quit running my mouth, and get to work. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Look at that. Talk about coming in just under the wire. The sun is setting. It's going behind the mountain. But I am ready. We are set up. Got my tent all ready. Got me a little fire going. Brought me some Duraflame, but, you know, I got a bunch of junk I want to get rid of, too. So, when it starts snowing, I'll have me a nice little fire. Assuming it snows. Assuming it snows. But we're all set up in here. Got my bed all ready. Got him all set up. And got my table. I'm having some, I'm fixing some beef stew here in a minute. I got some stew mix and some stew beef. And a bunch of veggies. And I'm going to put them in here. In my fire maple cooker. And uh, fix me some beef stew for dinner. But uh, I've got my TV set up. It's Well, you can't see, can you? <laughs> We're back to that again. Dark tent. But uh, actually, I've got my stuff hooked up. There we go. Let there be light. But I've got my TV set up there. I've got my diesel heater and batteries and inverter. All set up right there. I've got everything hooked up except for the diesel heater. All I got to do is, you know, put the terminals on and hit start. And from there, I can operate it with a little remote control. You know, well, warmer, cooler, whatever you want. But I went ahead and made sure to go around the tent real good anywhere I saw daylight. And just try to try to get a good ground seal all the way around you know once the snow starts and you know that gets heavy it'll weigh it down and I've got the skirts out all the way around the thing and got leaves piled up on the skirt got rocks and junk too you know just see like rocks right here the skirt comes out and got the lot rock laying on it and, you know, just scattered a bunch of little debris, leaves, and junk. Just to make sure I got a good ground seal. No wind blowing in underneath. And I would imagine once it gets started, it just might get a little bit windy. We shall see, shan't we? <laughs> Alright, well, we are good just under the wire. I like that. I was going to do, I uh, had a couple trees, I brought my big chainsaw too, I was going to, had a couple trees I was going to knock down real quick, but, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be dark here in probably 30, 40 minutes, it'll probably be just about dark, so, I guess we'll pass on the trees, and just a couple, wasn't too much, I was just going to try to knock a couple of them down real quick, but, we ain't get time. That's okay. No work today. We'll look at it that way, right? Look at it that way. You ain't got to work. You're camping and, you know, just camping. <laughs> well, I got my beef stew started. Big chunks of beef in there. And some of the seasoning mix so far is all I've done. I can put a little bit in it, you know, let it get started, you know, seasoning the meat. You know, kind of get it started going the right direction from the, from jump. But, anyway, while that's cooking, I wanted to show y'all something. Now, uh, y'all know I like to show y'all toys from time to time. And we get a lot of companies that'll, they, they send us messages, send us PMs, you know, emails. Hey, would you like to try out our product? Well, sometimes you get cool stuff. Okay, sometimes it's light bulbs. Sometimes, uh, like, 
customizable bears, like a Build-A-Bear kind of thing, but, you know, it's like a put-together-a-bear because Build-A-Bear is trademarked. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> feminine project, feminine products, not not my thing. No. <laughs> this right here, though, now, yeah. Uh, we got a, an email from a company called CC. S-E-E. S-I-I-C-C. They wanted to know if I could maybe use one of their cordless chainsaws on my camping channel. Duh. <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. I jumped all over that one. You know, maybe not the light bulb so much, but, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I, I can definitely... I can definitely put this to use on the channel. And uh, I got this out, and I noticed right off the bat, you know, I noticed a lot of trail riders, you know, when I did tours, would carry these for, you know, little trees and junk. And they were always really, really light. And I noticed this one, it has a little bit of, there's some metal in here, you know, it's not all plastic. So I did notice that right off the bat. It's It's got a little bit of mass to it, you know. It's like I said, it's not all plastic. But it's got uh, really good batteries. It's 21 volt, 2 amp hour batteries. So, and you've got two of them. It comes with two. Let's see, charger, glasses, gloves, various little tools in here. All right, I guess we are ready. Give me just a second. I'll slap a battery in it. And I've got some stuff over here. I'm gonna give it a try. I've got uh, some dead stuff. I got one about three inches thick couple of them an inch and I've got a couple over there live ones you know that I've taken out anyway I figure we'll just run over and give him a shot on those and you know just see how it does you know I, I have used these before it's the first one I've ever owned you know but I have used them before and eh, they were okay I guess they were okay but we'll, we'll see we'll see how it does you know we'll see okay we are ready to go Got the battery in, and we are ready to test him out. Uh, let's go small first. That's about, looks like about an inch. Okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll work quite nicely. <laughs> All right, let's try him on the bigger one. Now this about, oh, I'm going to say about three inches, give or take, something like that. Right on through it. It's a good size log for something like that. Okay, got him in a bind. Look at that. Went right through it. Need to tighten my chain up a little bit, don't I? Huh. Went right through it. Now, I'll be right back. Let me adjust it. Just tighten the chain up a little bit. It's got some slack in it. Doesn't hurt it, but, you know, they can jump if you don't. Be right back. Okay, that was easy enough. Just this one nut right here. And right there is the chain tension screw. Right there. So you just loosen that nut up a little bit. Tighten that screw. And it tightens the chain right back up. No problem. All right, let's see. Here we go. Something standing. Um, about an inch, a little less, maybe. Seven eighths. Give or take. All right, here we go. Easy enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. No. I like it. One hand. Handy. I like it. Alright, let's cut up some firewood. That is pretty nice, ain't it? Chain's staying tight, too. 
no problem there just making sure let's get some more cut up i like it thank you cc i very much appreciate you i very much like that but we'll see how she does uh the batteries like i said the 200 or 2 mah uh, i'll get it right in a second two amp hours i'll get it right in a second that should run it for quite a while was it lithium yeah lithium ion no doubt so i guess it would have to be to have that kind of power and a little bitty battery that size wouldn't it well it looks like i got it just in time it's all but dark and i'm done Look at this. first battery i'm still on the first battery that's not the second one that's still the first one i cut the entire stack that i had here i got it all cut up and then went over there and got four more and brought them over there and cut all those up too but i've got my diesel heater filled and we're all fueled up all i've got to do is so i guess i'll probably go ahead here in a minute since it's getting dark and go ahead close up shop and uh turn my heat on go ahead start warming the tin up get it warm in here God, it's gonna get cold it's gonna get cold and it's oh i was just checking by the way i was looking at the weight uh the weight are radar <laughs> weather radar wadar yeah, it's shortcut time saver really anyway <laughs> the wadar <laughs> anyhow i was looking at the wadar and it says that uh, now they're calling for anywhere from one to four inches so they have upped it a little bit they were saying one to two and now they're saying one to four so that sounds really good to me that's that's exactly what i was hoping for uh yeah I, I want to see a little bit of snow you know the last time i came here it rained on me all day long and it was glorious i loved every minute of it and i'm hoping i'm hoping for some really rotten weather guys you know you know how it is when you go camping right you want the really rotten weather <laughs> well i guess if you're doing something you want nice weather if you're just hanging out and you know doing this you want rotten weather you want horrible awful terrible weather <laughs> uh, anyway that's what we're hoping for we're coming back to a boil again we're getting there almost boiled it let's get off here go ahead close up shop and get my heater fired up and we'll see about peeling the coveralls i don't know i'll probably be in and out a lot you know i'm still wearing Still wearing my coveralls right now it's probably 33 give or take 33 degrees out something like that a hair this much above freezing so it's it's pretty cool but here in a little while we'll go ahead probably peel them off once we're in for the night and you know got the heat going and just kind of relax you know watch a little tv have some dinner that sounds pretty good have some dinner in your little blanket fort and wait for the snow that sounds like fun all right i'll be back in a minute let me get some more junk done we're moving along really well making like i said i was kind of concerned i wouldn't have enough time to get everything ready before dark but that little cc saw did help cc saw. <laughs> well it's about eight o'clock uh <laughs> been playing a little bit you know watching some tv but just goofing off got my stew still going it's been simmering for about three hours four hours i'm in no rush it'll be a late dinner but it'll be an awesome dinner anyway uh the snow is on its way it's getting here come on snow uh, we'll see what happens with that it'll probably miss me anyway uh, like I said, I've been watching TV. Everything's working, working just fine. Got my heater set on like um, about three. I think it goes up to, to, I think one through six. And then the seventh setting is the thermostat. But, you know, I, I don't really use it because it, you know, up and down, kind of distracting. 
I guess. I don't know. I don't use it. I just set it on whatever I want it on and go. But anyway, I cranked it up a little bit. Uh, I'm in my hoodie right now. I'm just in a hoodie. Uh, I'm trying to see. I want to see if I can get it t-shirt weather inside the tent here. And it's a pretty big ask, I'm sure. You know, considering this tent inside here, I'm going to say 18 maybe 20 feet long by about 12 feet wide something like that plus up here at the peak is about eight or nine feet high so well it's about eight eight and a half give or take but the the condensation from cooking check this out <laughs> that's okay once i stop cooking once i turn that off that will dry everything out in about 20 minutes it won't take long at all that's pretty cool uh, leo <laughs> i like that I, I may do some more of those <laughs> eh we're not that neat but eh could be worse dude i've seen worse <laughs> but anyway it's it's nice and warm in here um i'm gonna say low 70s 70, 72 73 4 somewhere in that ballpark i need to get me a little thermometer for camping trips you know especially in the winter i guess but i just wanted to see if i crank it up just you know can i make this just straight up t-shirt weather you know no no hoodie no nothing i just want to see if i can do it uh just see you know give it a run for its money see what it's got it's 32 outside right now and it is pitch black outside i mean it's it's dark well guys it is finally 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 dinner time I've waited all day for this. I think I've had like one oatmeal cookie today. That's what I was telling Heather just a minute ago on the phone. One oatmeal cookie is all I've eaten all day today. And it is, what, uh, 10 o'clock? 10.08. Got some snow in the area. Got a little band going over me right now. Matter of fact. But it's getting ready to, getting ready to get started. Uh, yeah, that sounds like fun, but check this out look at that how great does that look give me a little light look at that broth super rich watch this it just smushes the meat just smushes apart with a spoon look at that super tender i let that stuff simmer and simmer and simmer and simmer and then simmer some more that should be really good I tasted the broth. Yeah. You guys want to sip? You can have some. <laughs> mm -hmm. Chills up my back. That was good. That was really good. Alright, I got me some crackers right there. Coffee. Heat's going. Had it on like a four or five you know and it was it got pretty warm in here so i was just telling heather i it achieved t-shirt weather you know t-shirt temperatures in here it, it pulled it off it took it about 20 30 minutes you know running on about halfway but it did it it heated up I, i'd hate to think what that thing would do if you turn, crank it all the way up on high i don't think we'll be attempting that i don't think we'll need none of that but anyway, you can see some of the drips still running. But it's drying out. I can see dry patches now. All of this is dry. Yeah. So, like the heater's drying it out. Working like a charm. All right, I guess i turn my flashlight out. And get my movie back up. 
uh, watching Odd Thomas. I don't know if y'all have seen that or not. It's a pretty good movie. Let's have some dinner and move along and we'll see what happens from there. I've got some left over if anybody, you know, if y'all want some. There's a whole bunch still left. <laughs> I told Heather I was going to try to see if I could bring her some home. So I'll probably just sit this in the UTV and let it freeze. <laughs> and take her some stew home tomorrow. So that's that's my plan anyway. So I'm trying to save you some, Heather. It's really good. I, I promise. Look at that. Look at that broth. That just looks really rich. I didn't use all the packet. There's still, you know, it wasn't, it's not like it's a big pot. But that looks really good. All right, let's dig in and flip my movie back on, sit down in front of my heater, and enjoy. Well, guys, it's about 11 30 and i am right in the snow now we are right in the midst of it and i looked outside it's it's starting to come down but i, I just thought i'd mention something uh, i thought i didn't have a thermometer you know i was kind of curious what the temperature was but i do sort of the battery right there it has bluetooth and you know it communicates with your phone uh, it's at 90 percent by the way it's been running for the heater's been running for six hours and four minutes and we're at 90 percent still and the battery is 59 degrees at ground level so it's a little higher you go you know a little bit warmer up there but at the ground level it's 59 degrees so that's not too bad it's probably you know it's comfortable very comfortable in here right now as a matter of fact i've got it cranked up a little bit just since the snow started figured i'd go ahead and warm the tin up a little bit you know get the get the material warmed up sitting here eating candy eat half a box of chocolate covered cherries <laughs> <laughs> I love those things. That's the good ones. Has the liquid centers. I don't like the ones that have the gooey. You know, I like the liquid centers. Much better. And the same snowflakes. Mm-hmm. I see a few flying. I see snow. Well, it's about midnight now. Been sitting around eating, watching TV. A few flurries. I haven't really gotten a whole lot yet. It snowed just a little bit. But I just been sitting around sipping on coffee and enjoying. And I figure, figured I'd take a walk up to where I've been digging up here you see what it looks like it rained on it the other day after I did the digging and probably started to settle a little bit and I figured we'll just walk up take a look any snow hmm, look at that Look at that. Couple little wet dots. Snow. Looks pretty though. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's about, um, last time I looked it said uh, 30 degrees. And I think we're going to I don't know, 27-ish. It should level out. Heard a big buck up here just off to my left grunting a little while ago. Made some noise. He didn't like it.
Well, that's the spot I leveled out. Look at the deer tracks in that. There, 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 there. Looks like the surface of the moon. Dug this out the other day. Look at those tracks. <laughs> Look at that. Everywhere. I just let it burn down earlier. Yeah. Yep, he's out. All right, let's head back in. We're all good out here. Everything's squared away. Well, it's about 1.30 now, 1, 1.27. Getting ready to snow. Yeah, I've been watching TV trying to wait for it, but, you know, how it is. Uh, yeah, I give up. It's late, late. It's late, much later than I usually sit up, 1.30. But, uh, all right, I'm going to bed. I'll set the heat on one, and hopefully that'll be enough to melt off any snow if we get any on the tent. Don't think it'll matter, you know. I don't think we're going to get enough to matter anyway. But I'll leave a little bit of base heat on just to keep the tent warm, that kind of thing. Uh, anyway, we'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome inside the sleeping bag. <laughs> I've never videoed. Hang on, hang on. I ain't got a whole lot of room to work with here. I've never videoed from the inside of a sleeping bag using a cell phone as a light source, but here we are. Yeah, that's right, people. We are forging new something others and breaking boundaries things and something else. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know if it's really cold outside, but just going by what I'm looking at here. Oh, hang on. Foggy. There we go. Just judging by that. I'm going to guess it may be somewhat cold outside. But it is really nice in here. In the tent. In the sleeping bag with the heater going. That's where you want to be on a day like today. Unfortunately, I don't think we can stay here all day. I think we may have to get out of bed at some point just not really sure if I want to or not <laughs> yeah wow I just thought of something like 50,000 of you in the sleeping bag now that's that's a lot of people in a sleeping bag <sighs> okay I guess I better get up get my shoes on and get me some coffee going. Coffee. <laughs> well, I'm up. I, I rolled out of bed eventually. <laughs> it's, uh, let's see. It's 10, 10, 24 right now. And I've been getting light to moderate snow all morning long. It's not not a whole lot not deep or anything like that but i mean it, it looks good you can tell it looks cold can't you i figure we go out here in a second you know just kind of take a walk around a little bit let's see turn the heat down on low it's been running 16 hours and 50 minutes by the way one it has six settings by the way the seventh is the thermostat it's 
it's been running 16 hours and 51 minutes as of right now. Let's see, uh, take that. I might want to take a picture or two. We'll see. Yeah, that looks cold. I ain't even walked outside, it looks cold already. <laughs> What's the temperature? It's probably about 30. I'm guessing right at freezing. That's 36. Yep, it says 36. Not too bad. Alright, and that. One more sip of coffee. Yeah, that helps. That, that definitely helps. See what I mean? A little bit snowy. Last time I was up here in the snow was probably about 1973. Sitting in my grandpa's lap on Christmas morning looking out the window about right there. Yeah, I came out once. You can tell I have been here. I mean, there's no denying that Leo has in fact been here. <laughs> I have proof <laughs> that I actually came out earlier. <laughs> but I brought the little CC saw. I figured, eh, why not? Since you're going up there anyway, just those couple little ones, snap those out of the way. See how it does. I was going to bring the big one, like I said yesterday, and do some work, but I, I got here late, and by the time I got everything set up, it was like in, what, an hour till dark or whatever it was. And I thought so. Well, thing cuts quick, too. That's not old dead stuff. That was life. Was. <laughs> and. This thing in 2020 wasn't here. I had this clear. <laughs> Look at that though. There come the neighbor's dog down the hill. I said the last house right down here is her dog. <laughs> I've met her like three times. She still barks at me. <laughs> Man, you can see the log, can't you? That thing was huge. There was a bunch of it. It came all the way down, all the way out here. It goes up behind that one. Trying to picture it, you know, having some sort <laughs> of primitive shelter here. You know, whether it's, you know, sticks and tarps. <laughs> I'm not at all cold. I've got, you know, not at all cold. I'm perfectly comfortable. Which, you know, it's not like really cold anyway. But that's the trick about, you know, being out in cold weather is overkill it. You know, you you already know that Mother Nature does has zero problems with killing you right now. You know, don't play with somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Overkill it big time. Have, you know, have backup systems if you're going to do stuff like this, you know. I could no doubt just hyper insulate with the stuff I've got with me and I would be perfectly fine. I've camped right out here a couple times with no heat. Now, it wasn't snowing, but, you know, it was freezing and below. But this is the first time I've been up here in the snow. This is going to be interesting. It's a fun little project. The old 
whiskey bottle. Look at that. Well, it may not be a whiskey bottle, but whatever, it's a bottle. Looks like looks like a modern whiskey bottle, but as uh, it's not, you can tell it's old. There's all kinds of little, little designs. Let me if I can get it in a the light. There we go. Little designs in it. I think manufacturers these days are too cheap to do stuff <laughs> like that. <laughs> Now, let's see. I have my trash pile down here started. Just the few bottles that I found. Putting them in a pile. Still got that old tire to get out of there. I may use that for something. Just simple fact that I know for a fact that tire has been here for decades. I may use that tire. <laughs> so far, I've only got... Uh, six hours i've got about six hours in it so far you know tilled all this out and started digging back in there got all of the tree cut out over here i saved this i'm going to try to section it and make like split rails and go across the two tree logs here i can just show you the plant the basic plan in a nutshell Make split reel out of that and use the long ones over there I showed you and some more, you know, all throughout the hillside. There's a big one right there. Go across these, all right, to make a roof. Tarp across the top of it, some sides. I've got my zip in door and windows. So I'll have probably a, a window over there and a door, maybe vice versa, I don't know. The creek, I'm gonna dig this out. So this creek that comes down here will come out down this way and you'll have this level spot over here which will be enclosed or that's the plan anyway we'll see if I can if I can make this dream a reality <laughs> that's the thing about crazy dreams I guess you got to make them you got to try to make them real right <laughs> if not it's just a dream it's kind of prophetic isn't it those are some of my grandmother's cannon jars from her house up here when her house was up here I see a piece of an old tire they had out you can see the, the stone right here there's a piece of a tire that had flowers in it at one time and you know you could go up through that way all this was, was steep hillside they went up that way I just don't have that cleared out yet and there's also out that way and another one there's another little trail little tram road goes around the hillside from from down there and you can see the Can-Am and the tent down there and the other trail other road it's right here goes out this way around the hillside and that's where the old house used to sit. This right here was, I think, the back porch. If I remember right, there's just a little landing. As you came out the back door, right here, you went up and there was stairs going up this way and the path going up that way. And of course, you know, out that way and the stairs going down here too. It was definitely on a hillside, wasn't it? Like... Machu Picchu living on a mountain height or something. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this looks like this would be a good spot to bust your butt too, don't it? Look at a game trail over here. I'm guessing y'all can see that. You know, cameras don't always pick up detail like that. There's some big ones that hang out in here. This is Southern West Virginia. I've seen some nice ones here. Last time I camped here was a, about a four point buck. Stood about right in here somewhere. Probably coming off of that trail, matter of fact. They probably did come right off of that trail right there. But he stood right about here and was just looking at me. All right. 
Leo was here twice. <laughs> That way I have proof when I come back out that I was here once and then here again. Leo was here twice. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying this. Like I said, I got about another hour left to go and then I'll have to start gathering everything up and packing and getting ready to go back home. Another little trip in the books. Very soon I'll have some really interesting times right up here. A little bit of luck. A little bit of luck. Wish me luck, guys. Uh, I still got the heater on inside. Um, it's 65, 62, 65 in there. Something like that. You know, base heat. I've been using it as a boot warmer. <laughs> you just go in there. You sit down. Put your feet in front of that thing for like 30 seconds. And it'll warm your feet right up. And starts them drying they'll, they'll actually start to dry but tent's pretty wet but no snow looks like nothing stuck to it and it stayed warm enough to melt the snow off you can i did I, i've done tarps over top of them in the snow and you can do that but you have to pay attention uh the rate of the snow because the, the tarp the second one the snow will stick to it for sure and it gets heavy and weights it down and, you know, bad things can happen. Look out through there. I see a snow squall out through there. You can see it. Big flakes. Not in here, though. Huh. We'll see if it comes over. Anyway, trying to melt that out. It's going so far so good. I've got most of the snow out of it dry-ish thought about turning the engine on let it warm up but you know it's it's got a heat shield <laughs> that's the whole point of the heat shield is to keep from warming that up <laughs> i don't think it's gonna you know the two may conflict <laughs> i think my neighbors might think i'm just a little bit weird or something they'll come out every now and then you know just kind of glance up through here <laughs> That's all right, though. It's good to be a little bit weird. I don't think it's that weird. What do y'all think? You know, snow, winter camping. You know, if you've got heat and stuff, you know, it's, you've got, you know what I mean. You're not, like, going to freeze to death or anything like that. You're just out goofing off having fun. I don't think it's that weird. Now, that is going to be weird. That will be weird. I admit that i admit that you know a little house made of well busted tent pieces and sticks and <laughs> whatever i can find <laughs> yeah that might be a little bit weird but i'm a hillbilly man i'm supposed to be weird you guys expect that <laughs> I can, we can get away with it and no one ever even questions it you know it's, yeah they're hillbillies they're, they're weird <laughs> 101 I'm starting late <laughs> but now I'll deduct one minute for opening the tent door so that that counts I started precisely at one o'clock we'll, we'll call it that I want to see you know just how long it's gonna take me I'm not gonna rush or anything like that but you know just note the time all right let's see first things first we'll get some light since we're you know anyway there all right heater off how long was it 17 hours 19 hours and 29 minutes it ran consistently non-stop for 19 hours and 29 minutes now we've still yet got a little under half looks like about 40 percent of the tank i topped it off once uh 
to eight. it only had about half when I got here so I filled it and then I topped it about halfway through maybe three four cups something like that so I probably used just ballpark guess at the most two or three dollars worth of diesel fuel at the most cool it takes a while you have to let it cool down there's a little heating chamber in there that gets like crazy hot it uses like a glow plug like a diesel engine would and it gets ridiculously hot so even after you turn it off and it stops heating the fan still runs to blow the heat off of that heating chamber if you don't let it do that it, it can actually melt the thing down it can melt the housing if you don't let it cool off right so we'll let him see it and uh we've got uh tv and lights we'll leave the lights on just for extra light <laughs> and let's see where to start where to start well it's two o'clock now so i am one hour into packing <laughs> Two hours and six minutes. Well, technically I've been done for like a minute or a minute and a half. So, you know, deduct that. <laughs> we'll just say two hours. Of course, that's, you know, like I said, goofing off and not too bad. A couple hours spent packing stuff up. You know, folding everything right. I knocked as much of the rain off the tent as I could, but you know how that is. Yeah. <laughs> You can't really do it all, can you? You can see the dry spot, though, where the tent was. Big old area. You can tell exactly where it was at. But anyway, it's been a really good trip. Oh, one other thing. As promised. As promised. The last thing to be loaded up Or the dishes from yesterday. I have put this off successfully until the very last second. <laughs> I still got a teensy bit of snow. Let's see. Uh, there's some. Ooh, does it look cold? <laughs> Real winter right there. Alright guys, I'm out of here. We will see y'all next time. Y'all have a really good day, and we will see y'all next trip. Hope you enjoyed it. Leo out.